Okay, I'm going to be performing the skill of open bladder irrigation. Um, we've checked our doctor's order and for whatever reason we need to irrigate the um, patient's catheter. We'll get our equipment, um, which is going to be an irrigation syringe and tray, which normally you're going to use a piston syringe and that's what this is. Also a sterile bottle of normal saline. We're going to check and make sure that the expiration date's good. Of course we'll need gloves and some, probably a, an extra alcohol swab. We'll go into our patient's room. We're going to identify the patient, let them know what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and wash my hands and put on my gloves. We'll uh, get the bed up to a working height. Um, you'll want to inspect the color of the urine. You can look in the tubing here and just see what the, what the urine looks like. to assess the patient's bladder, see if they're distended. And yeah, they feel a little distended, so that's why we're irrigating the catheter. <clears throat> okay, so we'll open our tray. You wanna try and keep the inside of this sterile. Of course, we have provided our privacy, so we wouldn't have her exposed like this. Um, we'll have our curtain closed. Pop out your little irrigation um, syringe. And then inside of here should also be an alcohol swab and a um, little white chucks pad. We're going to put this underneath the patient, shiny side down. This doesn't need to be sterile or anything. It's just to protect the bed. Um, I'll go ahead and get my solution into, the, into my irrigation container. Your syringe should have a little cap on here. We're going to take that off and be sure you keep the inside of that sterile. So however you want to hold that in your, in your hand. Um, we're going to pour our irrigation into our little container here. Be sure you keep this syringe sterile. You don't want to touch all over that because it, it will be inside of your solution. We're going to use about 30 to 50 cc's of saline. I can go ahead and pull up that amount. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set my tray down here. We'll remove the tape from the patient's leg. Uh, before I take this apart, you want to clean that off with alcohol. And then you can kind of clamp it off a little bit with your finger here. And we're going to take that apart and put that onto our plug to keep that end of the tubing uh, sterile. Okay. Now we can go ahead. Now your, I believe your Smith & Duell says to um, aspirate first, which you can do that first. Go ahead and aspirate, see if you get anything, and we don't. So there's a plug in there of some kind of clot or something. So go ahead and instill your saline. Take that apart. And just rest it on the side of your tray here. You don't want it down into the tray like that because that would contaminate it. Keep it on the, on the edge there of your tray. And oh yeah, see we have a clot come back and now it looks like it's draining uh, without any problems. So we can hook it back up. Take your cap off. We do want to go ahead and use that extra alcohol swab and wipe this off again before we reconnect just to make sure there was no contamination. Of course, if we needed to, um, we could instill another 30 to 50 if we still didn't have a return. Um, but you don't want to do that um, too many times if you're not getting anything back. So go ahead and reconnect. Loop your tubing. We would retape this back on the patient's leg. And get everything off of the bed here. Um, we need to be sure we um, document how much fluid, how much urine and saline we're, we're throwing away. We want to document how much um, saline we use to irrigate um, the Foley. So be sure all that's on the INO sheet and on our nurse's notes as well. Reassess the patient's bladder. Make sure that they're um, not distended, that they're comfortable. Again, you're going to be looking at the patency and the color of the urine in the tubing. Uh, we'll put the we'll tape it back to their leg, put the bed back down in um, safe position, uh, take off our gloves, wash our hands, and then we'll go out of the room and then document all of that. <laughs>